Hi everyone, this is Andrea Gilbert from Monroe Community College, and I am doing a quick demo of our institution homepage and one of our course uh, homepages uh, to show you what our setup looks like. So from our end, we have our main institution page, we have our um, email widget so that it displays to students at the beginning of the semester um, and they can try to determine what their primary uh, campus association and it directs them to the help desk. So that's been a very helpful uh, widget to add to our homepage. Um, from there, we have our courses and um, below that we have our calendar, which we've added um, some of the milestone dates throughout the semester. Um, generally at the beginning of the semester, um, students get a welcome announcement and give them some um, essential information at the start of the semester and where to get help and support. And then we also have the quick avail on our main page as well. Now our NAV bar, um, this is for our institution page. We do have some commonly used resources here, uh, the calendar, the library. We have a drop down of academic resources, which includes um, a few of our um, institutional support resources um, like Starfish, and Thinking Storm for tutoring. So students can really go and find what they need. These are just direct links. They link out to the tools. Some of them are integrated. Um, from there, we have a tech help, which we kind of carry through to our um, courses as well. So virtual campus is our link to our own web page for faculty. So this only shows to faculty, um, but everybody else sees the student technology help desk and SUNY online. There's a system check. Um, My MCC is our portal tool. So this kind of links back to um, our portal if we click back on that so they can go between the different systems. Um, we also have the users menu so we can look up user accounts quickly and our campus administration. And again, the, these are tools for the campus admins. Um, popping into a course, I'm just gonna go into a um, orientation course that we have for our students. Students are enrolled using um, intelligent agents, but so you can see what our nav bar looks like on each course. Um, you can, we'll pop into this one. Course nav bar um, are locked down for faculty so they cannot change what that looks like. Um, we've customized some of them, so there are some um, adjusted nav bars at, at potentially, just depending on needs of courses, um, but generally we do not um, let faculty have that permission to adjust it. Um, so we have the course homepage, which generally has our table of contents view. We have a announcements area, instructor profile. And quick eval, we've kind of modified this one because it is a um, training course. So we've kind of stripped down the homepage just a little bit, but I'm not gonna show an actual course right now. Um, the content, um, we have that accessible and we have our activities menu. So this has our links to assignments, discussions, quizzes, groups, and surveys. We've added these over, the, over time, the groups. We have found that faculty are beginning to use it. Um, we also have um, grouped the Grade Center tab together. So faculty were used to Blackboard um, going to the Grade Center, and that's how we refer to things. So we kind of grouped um, similar grading tools together, like grades, class progress. Um, we've added awards, and for some of the the courses that um, have a like a certification component, maybe these, some of these training courses. So this one. Um, is not actually in our um, academic course um, list, but that is potentially there. We have an option for rubrics and the quick avail tool. Now these are, the, uh, the calendar tool appears here, and we also have that academic resources carried in. That's similar from the yeah, uh, institution homepage, as well as the tech help tab, uh, and it's embedded right into each course. And then the instructor has access to the course admin panel, panel from the course. So we've tried to minimize the tools that students are seeing um, and really trying to have them look at exactly, um, you know, what they should be focusing on. Um, and generally we have faculty create the modules and um, link up the activities as best practice, but we do 
have access to these tools at the top as well. So that completes my demo. If you have any questions, um, you're welcome to email me at agilbert14 at monroecc.edu. And thanks for watching our tour.